Hello everyone. In the last class, uh, we have discussed about events. Uh, event in the same class and event in another class. I mean, event handler method is in the same class and uh, event handler method maintained in another class. So in that way, we have, I have explained. In today's class, we will discuss about whoops alb okay so before going to whoops alb uh, i just want to show you uh, normal alb report how can we display the data for simple data for customer information how can we display the data okay so fine let me open i'm creating a simple program I have just taken uh, and select option for customer number. Okay. So for this one, uh, I want to paste something data from K11 table. So select Kunarim one OT01 from K11 into table. I am using uh, uh, inline declarations. I am not declaring any internal table what are these on the here. Okay. Now, I want to display this data. So how can we display the data? So by using the function module, reuse ALV grid display or uh, list display. Uh, by using those function modules, we can display the data. So here, uh, uh, I'm getting the data in LTK1. This is the internal table here. And here in the tables tab, I'm passing the internal table name LTK1. Now, save it. And here, uh, uh, this is the uh, internal table and it is containing three uh, fields, customer number, customer name, and city, three fields. So we need to tell a system uh, in the first column what information we want to display, customer number, customer name, city. So what information we need to display in the first column, we need to tell a system. So how can we tell the system? Uh, by using the field catalog. So we already worked on these things. The normal, I mean, core ABAP we have discussed uh, uh, regarding this function module to use ALV grid display or uh, list display like that. All right. So directly I'm going to the uh, field catalog internal table. Okay. Hope you already know uh, about this uh, field catalog internal table. Data, LT, F cat, okay, LTF cat type. So I want to get you know, some type here the, for the uh, field catalog internal table, right? So for that one here also, LTF cat is there, ITF cat is there. Okay, if you double click on this, we use ALV grid display, and here the importing button, we can see IT field cat, okay. IT field cat, the type is list underscore T underscore field cat underscore ALV. Just copy that one and in the declaration part, we can paste it here. Okay. And uh, here I am just passing that internal table name LT underscore F cat. This is initial only. I am not passing any data as of now. I will pass the data in this internal table now. Okay, now 
I will go for work area also data ls f cat like line of lt and the square f cat by using internal table I am declaring the work area here fine now I will fill the data in this uh, uh, field catalog internal table if lt k n one is not initial Okay, then only I want to fill the field cat like internal table and displaying the data. Fine. Now I will fill the data like this. Okay. Uh, ls f cat hyphen field name. Okay, field name is equal to Kunar. See, I already know some fields here. That is why I am directly passing the work area name, hyphen field name like that. So if you have any doubt, then you can go to the structure here and you can see the fields. Oh, oh, what is happening here? Okay, this is this. It is containing the two fields and so it is containing a few fields here field name column position cell text and square m something fields will be there. fields will be here and we need to use those fields okay directly i am going to the uh, filling of the internal table so field name next one is the column position Column position is equal to one and cell text underscore m. The heading heading is customer. Okay, and after that one, append statement append lsf cat to ltf cat and clear lsf cat right now check it is there any syntax error no here are uh, how many columns how many columns are there that many of times we have to fill the data in this way right so instead of that one i can go for the routines concept here perform uh, fill f cat using customer okay i will cut it here so here i am just using something perform subroutine i am using the subroutine name is pf cat now i will double click on it so still i did not declare it so i will declare it now so click on s button and I want to declare it in the main program only. And here I will paste the whatever I have cut there. I'm just pasting it here. And now here P underscore, this is the F name. So hope uh, you already know about this concept. Uh, I mean, using, changing, returning this type of parameters here. So by default, the form form name came and using the value is p underscore f name and p underscore value. Okay. And here, instead of passing this p underscore f name and here p underscore value. Okay. And I will take one local one variable here. So lv underscore count is equal to lv underscore count plus one okay so instead of passing here one i will pass the lv underscore count i need to declare this lv underscore count i will declare it now okay 
okay i will declare the top data lv on type i save it and check it is there any syntax error no okay so here i am filling the first record next i will fill the second record for name one customer name and one more for what is zero one city Okay, and now uh, LTF cat I have passed to the function module reuse LV grid display and activate it, execute it. Before executing, keep the breakpoint here. Okay, click on execute button. Um, before this one, I will clear the data. Clear lv underscore count okay. account so click on execute button now i'm giving the customer number range from 1 to 200 and click on execute button see the uh, internal table is containing four records from kn1 table uh, fine so if i click on f5 button it will go inside of the uh, perform the fill f cat Okay, here I'm using Kunar and customer, two variables I'm using here, right? So click on F5 button, those two variables will come into P underscore F name and P underscore value, field name and value. So by using these two variables, I'm filling the work area as well as internal table here. Okay, now, so LV underscore count by default, the value will be zero, zero plus one, the value will come as one here. So here I'm appending something data like this, LTF cat. Here it is containing one record in LTF cat. This is for customer number Kunar, right? Now, you can F5 button. Now this is for second record and third record. I'm not going inside of the subroutine here. Directly I'm clicking on F6 button only. So click on F6, here also F6, now we can see LTF cat is containing three records. This is fine only. And now I'm displaying the data, click on F8 button. So it will display the data in this way, right? Now my requirement is if I double click on something customer number, I want to display something sales information. Okay, so for this customer number, how many sales orders are there? Those all information I want to display in the second screen. So that is the requirement. So now click on back button. Uh, if you want to apply uh, those type of things, then we have to go for events. Okay, so in whoops, uh, we have discussed something events, right? And the same way, in normal LV also, some events are there. Okay, if I double click on any record, then we need to uh, display some uh, uh, some detailed information in the next screen. So uh, I'm going for events. So in this in, the, in this function module reuse lv grid display we have one option like uh, events also let me check where it is here lt events is there it events okay now here i will pass something lt underscore events okay. lt events fine now I did not declare it uh, LT events. I want to declare it now. But what is the type? So double click on the function module and click on import uh, tab here. And you can see uh, something here. Events. IT events is there. So the associated type is list underscore T underscore event. Just copy that one. Come back and declare the internal table work area for that one. Okay, data, LT events type. I have copied that one, just pasted here. So work area LS events. Okay, now I want to fill a event internal table. Okay, I am double clicking on something record means user command event will trigger here. So I am not discussing 
regarding events in depthly because i already explained in the previous classes we can go through those videos for uh, in depth of the events okay so here i am directly going for user command event fine Okay, and now here I am filling an uh, event internal table. Okay, and uh, here the work area name is ls underscore events. And here uh, name, event name is user command. Okay, user command and ls events I have found form so this event which form will handle this event the form name we have to mention so user command you see so we can take anything here and append ls events to lt events and clear ls underscore events all right and i'm using this lt events in the function module to use lv grid display all right fine now save it this is okay fine okay i am just uh adding some event here the event name is user command to the internal table lt events and this internal table i am passing to the function module to use lv grid display this is fine but now um uh, where we are handling this one well i mean uh, after double clicking on something record I need to do some functionality. I need to write, I need to execute some logic here. Where, uh, where is the logic here? The logic I did not, or uh, I did not write it. Okay, I have to write the logic. If we double click on any record, then uh, which functionality should trigger here? That logic we have to write inside the form and end form of the name is UC. Here I am maintaining the UC user command. Right, I will declare, I will, uh, declare like this form you see end end form okay now save it here i am just maintaining something message here that's it so if the message is triggering then i will write the remaining logic message event user command event trigger type i okay now save it take it activate it okay. so if i double click on something record then i want to trigger this message user command event trigger like that okay. so now click on execute button it's the same thing one to two hundred click on execute button and now Okay, this is in the breakpoint point. So I'm double clicking on something record here, but nothing is happening here. I'm just double clicking, but uh, uh, nothing is happening here. The action is not going on. The message is not triggering here. So what is the problem? The problem is, so whenever we are using something events, then we need to tell the system where we are using this uh, uh, event to form. Okay. So the event form is UC and this UC subroutine is, is using the same program, same report, right? That one we need to tell the system where we are maintaining this form, the same program or any another program where we are maintaining. So here we have an option, I underscore callback program and this one, SY hyphen CPROZ current program. Okay, or you can copy the report name and you can paste it in the single quotation, whatever it is. So in the interview, you can get the question like, so while calling this function module, use LV grid display. If you don't maintain this I underscore callback program, then what will happen? Okay, events will not trigger. Activate it. 
and now execute it now one to 200 click on execute button now click on execute button double click on any record see it is going to dump here that is okay fine so too many parameters specified with perform right so what is happening here that could not be executed this call containing two current uh, see the error analysis is this call contains two current parameters however means so what it is why it is going to dump it is going to dump because of this form you see i have maintained but so this event will contain the user command event is triggering here right so at that time the the form uc will contain two parameters the two parameters we have to mention here otherwise it will go to dump okay now how can i find out the uh, parameters here so let me open the events here slash underscore t underscore event double click on it and Actually, uh, these things, uh, no one, I mean, no one will tell like you need to take some parameters or uh, you need to you need to take uh, some specific uh, work areas, internal tables or, or variables in the parameters like that. So uh, we need to check that one. Okay, uh, one minute. So let me click on back and here reuse LV grid display is there and here in importing tab we can see the uh, events here LTN square events right and click on go to documentation and we can see something documentation here so it is containing something user command here okay user user command is one event here so user command and using or uh, you come like syf and you come and rsl field type this underscore self field something so in this way they are declaring the documentation sap is providing like this just copy these variables here the parameters here okay and now let me come back to our program so form form name and here the parameters using r underscore ucom like s5 and ucom and and rs rs and special field type this and special field so these are the variables okay parameters this is the mandatory thing we have to maintain here otherwise it will go to dump Okay, and this is the not man, this is the not fixed one. R underscore you come or RSL field. These are the not fixed things. We can give any name here. Okay, just I have copied from the documentation. That's why I kept like that. Otherwise, I will change the name like uh, this is for selfish and this is for you come. Okay, now activate it and execute it here and 1 to 200 is the customer numbers so click on execute button click on execute now double click on something 170 so it is triggering the message is triggering user command event triggered okay fine this is okay fine now what i need to uh, write the logic so if I double click on something customer number, I want to display the list of the sales orders for the customer. So there is a requirement. So instead of this one, I need to write the logic. So if uh, SELF self field name is equal to, okay, this is a corner. 
So I will show you in the debugging level what is the what is the work area, how it is coming like that. I will let you know. And select Kunar BBELN and Kunar from BBAK into table. BB, okay, where BB, uh, where Kunar is equal to uh, self hyphen value. Okay, same thing. And here, uh, if LT BB, okay, is not initial, okay. If it is containing something data, then I want to display the data, right? So by using the same function module, reuse ALV grid display. And here, uh, what is the internal table name? LT underscore VB again, right? Just copy this one and you can paste it in the tables. Okay. And now I need to fill a field catalog. I need to fill a field catalog. Uh, here I'm maintaining two columns. So, so first of all, I will declare the uh, field catalogs. Okay, itf cat underscore s four lsf cat underscore s four. One internal table and one work area I have declared, and you can I can copy this one from here and I can paste it here. Okay, and here ls f cat s four. This is a different work area internal table for the field catalog, right? So the work area name is ls f cat s four. And for the field name is uh, first one is a VBE LN. So VBE LN. This is the S1 number. Okay, and here I am just maintaining like this, but in real time. So we will go for the subroutines here, how I have maintained. In that way, uh, we will write the logic, but now I have only two uh, columns, VBE, LN, and Kunar. Only two columns are there. That is why I am maintaining in this way. Okay, and I will copy this uh, field catalog name, field catalog internal table, and I will pass to the uh, function module reuse ALV grid display. And this is an exporting parameter, and I don't want remaining all the things, I will remove it. Because for looking wise, it is showing the more lines of code, so I am removing these all things. I'm not using these all things, so I'm removing these all things now. Simply, okay, one field catalog and one internal table. Okay, now check it. Self does not have the field name. <clears throat> Spelling mistake is there. So where is his field name? Okay, check it. Okay, pretty printer. Okay, 
some settings need to do for petty printer. So here capital D is coming. There is no issue in this one. Activate it. And now I will keep the breakpoint here. Click on execute button under 1 to 200. I'm just maintaining the customers and click on execute button here 170. I'm double clicking here. So if you double click on this form, um, here we are declaring the form you see using UCOM and cell field. For cell field, I'm declaring something SELF is our area now. If you double click on it and we can see here. So uh, the field name, where I mean, on which field we are double clicking, we are double clicking on the customer. Okay, Kunar is the column name. So that Kunar is coming here and the uh, The value, the value is uh, 170. We are double clicking on the customer number 170. Okay, and the index is one here. Means this is the first line of the internal table. So uh, by using the this field name and by using the value, I am fetching the data from BBAK table. So click on F5 button, double click on LT BBAK. It is, it is showing something zero. Okay, let me show. Uh, click on execute button. It is not displaying anything because the customer is not containing any sales order information. So I will go for BBAK table and click on display button and execute it. So why I am telling these all things now? Okay. So if you want to, the same thing, so whatever uh, we are working for normal ELV report okay how we are applying events and how we are displaying the data uh, in the second screen or the first screen whatever it is how we are displaying how we are writing the logic the same way we will go for uh, groups ELV also for that for uh, uh, that reason I am explaining it once again here for recap of uh, how can we create a program for displaying the uh, ELV report and here I will take something customer number. So customer number something, I will maintain like this. Okay, I will go to the program and here I will copy and paste that customer number and click an execute button. Okay, this is something master data issue here. So it is not coming. Okay, the customer number 2000 came here and if I double click on this customer number 2000 um, it is going to the uh, event okay user command event and it is fetching something data the data is available in LTBB AK click on FF button it is containing four records means this customer uh, has ordered I mean um, for this customer, four sales orders are available in the system. Okay, so these are sales order numbers and this is the customer number. So click on F8 button. I am just executing directly. This is the sales document number and this is the customer number. Okay, now the same thing I will go for whoops ALV also. Okay, here how we are declaring the internal tables or areas select options, these all things we are declaring it here, right? In the same way, I, I will go for oops, ALB now. This is normal ALB, okay? By using something function modules, we are displaying the data, but in coming to oops, ALB,
we need to use some class and methods to display the data. Okay. Now, before going to the oops ALV, I need to tell something here. Okay. So, uh, first of all, we need to create a screen. Okay. So, in normal ALV, not required system automatically, it will display in the screen. But in whoops LV, it's not like that. We need to create some screen. Okay. We, uh, how can we create the screens here? In module pool programming, uh, we can create something screens, right? Uh, uh, otherwise, we can go for is uh, SCP 51 transaction. Okay. Is screen painter uh, the transaction is 51 transaction is there, right? So far, by using that transaction also, we can create the screens. Okay. And here I am just creating something screen by using module pool programming like that. Right? I will screen something double to double to something screen. I am creating by using something module pool concept. I am I am creating something screen here. Okay, fine. So in this screen, we need. In this screen, we need to uh, create some uh, table control one minute. I will go to the program, then I will discuss these things. So this is a normal program only, uh, fine. And now here, I want to declare the, uh, first of all, select options I need to declare here, right? So for that one, data LV underscore Kunar type Kunar and select options S underscore Kunar for LV underscore Kunar, right? I'm declaring something select options here, fine. And now I need to uh, create some screen here. So how can we create a screen? So for that one, startup selection and call screen. Okay, call screen double two double two like that. I am just writing. I did not create the screen till now. Save it and double click on it. Now I will create the screen. Okay. That double click on it and click on S button. So it will go for a screen painter. This is for a main screen for customer information. Okay. The description I'm maintaining here and save it and click on layout button. Okay. So screen is okay. So this is the screen, screen double two, double two. So same thing. I have created a screen. The screen number is double two double two. Okay. So in this screen, just click on a layout button. I need to design something here. So here, so whatever the space we are giving in the report output, also same output will come, same width, uh, height will come. Okay. And here. Uh, the the option is there like tab custom control okay custom control we need to create one custom control in this screen okay so so this is the option click on this button and drag and drop the custom control okay this is the custom control this is the screen in this screen I am creating something custom control just double click on it and this is the name and the custom control name I want to give here. Custom control. Uh,
sorry here i have created something custom control right so for this one i need to provide something name for this custom control name okay custom custom control okay cst underscore ptrl this is the name i have given copy this one and come here i have create i have created something custom control So first I have created screen double two double two. Instead of that one, I have created something custom control. Okay. And now we need to create or assign custom container okay so i will let you know what is this one custom container by using what it is i will let you know so first of all i will complete it then i will come back here yeah so first of all uh the screen we have created double two double two inside that one custom control we have created the name we have given like cust underscore ctrl like that we have given fine and after that one so inside of this custom control um uh, uh, we need to we need to uh assign something custom con custom container okay custom container and by using the class name CLGUA custom container, okay, not required to drag and drop physically here. Okay, just we need to assign. Okay, we need to assign this custom container in this custom control. Okay, so inside of that one, uh, we need to display the data. Okay, so the screen is coming in this uh, uh this much of space, but we are displaying the data so in this space only. Okay, so here we need to assign one more thing here. This is the grid display by using the class name CLGUY ALV grid. Uh, we can display the data uh, in our normal uh, ALV report by using the reuse ALV grid display or reuse ALV list display. We can display the data in the same way. Here also, we have to use the class name CLGUY ALV grid. So this is the class in this class one method is there set table for pass display by using that method we can display the data okay but directly we cannot display the data okay by, by using this class name directly we cannot display the data okay so uh 
by using this class name we need to link the CLGUI ALV grid and the CLGUI custom container these two classes we need to link okay so this custom container will link to this custom control this custom controller will link to the screen so one by one interlink here so first of all we need to display the data in this area so how can we display by using the class name CLGUI ALV grid so this is the class name right so directly is it possible to display the data no directly we cannot display the data so first of all we need to interlink with custom container okay so the custom container class name is CLGUI custom container we need to interlink these two things first of all so after that one after linking these two things then we need to link the this custom container as well as the custom control these two things okay these two things we need to link okay we will link that one th i mean uh, if you see one sample program then you can understand how can we write this one okay and here the screen and custom controller we already designed in the screen wise in the module pull screen we have designed it so not required any link now already linked it okay physically we have linked it fine and these things uh, physically not required to drag and drop anything like that just by uh, writing some code we have to link that one we will see that one now okay so this is the custom container the container name is this one right now click on flow logic here so it's game here okay it's game here now what i'm doing the p the so I hope you already know about the events in the module pool programming, PBO, PAI, POV, something for events are the right. So here mainly we will go for PBO and PAI. And when we have to go for PBO and when we have to go for PAI, I already discussed in uh, regarding this one in the uh, last videos on MPP concept, module pool concept. Please go to those videos. Okay. So here. I am clicking on, uh, I mean, uh, if I execute the program, it will ask the input screen. Uh, the customer number, it will ask as the input, I will provide the customer number and I will click on F8 button. At that time, I want to display the data, right? So here I am not clicking on anything, uh, just clicking on F8 button. The output should come here. So uh, default, it should come here. Okay. By default, the output should come here. Means we have to go for PBO. Okay. After displaying the data, after displaying the data, if you want to click on any button or if you are doing something operation after displaying the data, then we have to come to the PAI event. Okay. Here I'm not doing anything, just clicking on F8 button. That's it. So the data should come here. So for that one, we have to go for PBO, right? So now click on, I mean, implement this one here. Okay. Implement this one here. So this should be in the main program only. It will come like this. Okay. It will come like this. So first of all, so first of all, what I will do. So already the screen is created. Custom control also is created. Now what I will do, I will link this custom control and custom container. Okay. I will link this custom, con this custom control and custom container both I want to link now so how can we link this one so here first of all we need to create something object for this class just open the class CLGUI custom container the separate session okay so slash o sc 11 sorry sorry sc 24 right slash n sc 24 and here CLGUI custom custom container right so click on display button and here one minute guys
let me first of all let me um, create the object for this one okay so first of all declaration part for the class so data obj type ref2 the class name i am just maintaining and obj for custom container custom container and uh, i need to this is okay object for, for, i mean for this class clgy custom container and the uh, custom control i need to link i will link it now and uh, how can we link by using the object by using the class name we cannot link this one so first of all i need to create something object then i will link these two things and after that one i need to link this uh, clgy uh, grid display and uh, clgy custom container these two also i need to link here so for this one also i need to declare something object so i will declare the object for that one also data obj uh, this is for grid display cl gui alb grid okay fine coming to the pbo event here first of all i will create the object for the cl gui custom container so how can we create the object click on pattern button and select the abap uh, objects patterns here click on enter button here i am creating something object the class name is for cl gui custom container sorry sorry class name here and instance the object name so whatever the object i have declared here obj underscore cus underscore container right so click on ok button and here it is asking something container name okay custom control we have here the custom control we have designed here uh, so while creating the object for the cl custom container we need to pass this custom control name here we are linking uh, uh, this custom control to this class okay and so what is the name right so click on back button and here click on attributes or text element element text element list here so this is the custom control name right so click on back button and here i am passing it now okay custom control name i am linking to the object means indirectly i am linking to the class clgy custom container okay and remaining things i am removing it here not require these all things now okay now what is happening so screen is created custom control uh, i have designed and this custom control and clgv custom container these two things i have linked now okay i have linked now now i need to link the clgv custom container as well as clgv alv grid these two things i need to link now so how can we give that one okay so first of all create the object so pattern here and click on enter button the object name is the instance or object name is obj underscore grid clgy alb grid this is the class name right and here i underscore parent is asking so for this one the object name i am passing like this object name i am passing the the parent object name Okay, so what I'm doing now? So screen is created. Inside that one, custom control I have created. So 
I am linking, okay. I am linking this custom control name in the object of CLGUI custom container. I am linking these two things here. And after that one, I am whatever the object is coming for this CLGUI custom container, I am passing it to the CLGUI ALB grid instance. Okay, I am linking those two things here. Okay. So while creating the object for CLGUI custom container, I'm passing the custom control name here. So I'm linking these two things here. And here, uh, uh, while creating the object for CLGUI ALV grid, I'm passing the uh, I underscore parent as object customer CUN means this is the, uh, I mean, this is for CLGUI custom container object name. That name I'm passing these two things I'm linking now, okay? These two things I am linking now. And now by using CLGUI ALV grid, we need to display the data. Okay. If we go inside of this class, we have something method like set table for fast display method. So by using that method, we can display the data. Okay. So this is the uh, method set table for fast display. If we go for anything parameter here and we can see something uh, importing and changing, okay, importing and changing parameters are there and here. So all are optional, but only one thing is a uh, mandatory thing. So that is the IT underscore out, out tab means this is the internal table. So the data, which internal table is containing that one we need to pass. To this uh, it out tab here okay so click on back back fine now it's came here i want to display something data here right i want to display something data so before that one i need to paste the data so select sonar name one what is your one from kn1 into table at the date data of ltkn1 where kunar in yes underscore kunar okay i'm fetching something data so if lt underscore kn1 is not initial if it is containing something data then i need to call the method the method name is so come here i'm calling the method the instance or the object is obj underscore um grid okay and the class name is clgui alv grid so here set table for first display this is the method here click on enter button now we can see the changing parameter this is the mandatory thing here and the internal table name is ltkn1 okay ltkn1 and i'm removing uh, remaining things here I will come back uh, for remaining things a bit later in the next class uh, like that. Okay, so as of now, so in this method, I'm just uh, keeping changing and the internal table name I'm passing and the field catalog I will pass here. Okay, lt underscore f cat. Okay, but ltfcat, I did not declare it now. I will declare it now. So first go to that method and here, uh, where is that? Okay, here 
where is the field catalog field catalog see here the field catalog L it field catalog is there the type is this one lvc tf cat okay so by using that uh, associated type i will declare the internal table here data ltf cat type data lsf cat like line of ltf cat save it and check it so there is no error now what i will do so before calling this one i will Uh, copy and paste from the existing program. So this is the old one, right? So filling the field catalog, I'm just copying and pasting. Okay, so copy this one and paste it here and Copy this one. Okay, and now LV count I need to declare here. Save and check. Uh, LSF care does not have component field cell text underscore m correct only. And uh, field name is different here. So if you want to get no C O L T X T something is there. Save and check, activate. Okay, so the name is different. Uh, instead of cell text on square M, uh, S, L, cell text on square S, cell text on square L, instead of that one, we have something called text here, T underscore value. This is okay, fine now. Activate it and execute it. Okay. Now the customer number I'm passing like this click on execute button and now uh, it is containing something LTK and even only one record is containing the internal table fine so click on uh, LTF cat is containing three record that is fine only customer customer name and CP click on execute button so the data is coming in this way okay so this is not starting from here the output the screen is coming here because the custom control I have designed like that. Okay. So in the screen, if you start the custom container from the starting, the output also will come from here only because so it will depend on the custom control designing. Okay. Now click on back button. Click on F8. You can back. Remove this dead point here. Click on execute button. So click on back. The back button functionality is not working. Okay. The data is coming fine, but the back button functionality is not working fine here. So what is happening? So we are creating something custom container and we are displaying something data here. At that time, the back button functionality or some a few functionalities, a few uh, standard functionalities so will not work here. Okay. So we need to Um, so where is it? Yeah, this is the program, right? And go to the screen. Call screen is there. Double two, double two. And here PBO is coming. Double click on the first one. And here check PF status is coming. And here we need to uh, something PF something. PF set PF status something. Activate it. We already worked on this one. So how to activate the back button, uh, this type of things, the multiple concept. Click on S button and uh, so this is for uh, back button. 
functionality and the function keys here something back is there back okay now save it and activate it this is activated right now data is displaying there okay data is displaying after the data displaying we are clicking on something back button right so after displaying if we are doing something operation then we have to maintain those all things in the pai event so i will uh, create the pai event here okay. if say you come is equal to back okay the program save it check it activate it it is activated right now what i will do i will click on back button activate it once again it's activated click on execute button One to two hundred. Click on execute button. So it is it is displaying something customers for customers here. Now click on back button. Now oh, the back button is working fine. Okay. And uh, if we double click on something customer, we need to go for something sales order information, right? Fine. We will discuss it uh, in the next class because it's already a bit late. So uh, I will continue that concept in the next class we have to use events here okay how to use the event uh, so we will discuss these all things in the next class okay and if you have any doubt please uh, send a mail okay or you can ping me in whatsapp whatever it is i will respond in my free time or you can uh, give some comments in the youtube video also i will respond in the free time Okay then, uh, we will meet in the next class. Then bye, Jai Hind.